I'm Kenesha Dees here at the Hilton Chicago. Yes, I'm in the Windy City. Normally I'm in Huntsville, but I'm here for NABJ, the National Association for Black Journalists. And I'm here in the ballroom where just hours ago, former President Donald Trump was here to speak to those hundreds, if not thousands of journalists. Quite the crowd, quite the feel that we heard from earlier today. But we're going to give you a little bit more of what we saw today from our Fox News reporter, Connor Hansen. It was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. Vice President Harris, speaking to members of a historically black sorority in Texas, responded to former President Trump's comments earlier in the day. The American people deserve a leader who tells the truth, a leader who does not respond with hostility and anger when confronted with the facts. In a room full of black journalists, Trump questioned the vice president's ethnicity. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. Now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is the comments drew harsh criticism from the White House. What you just read out to me is repulsive, it's insulting, and, you know, no one has any right to tell someone who they are. From the NABJ event in Chicago, Trump traveled to a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. It was his first appearance in the swing state since someone tried to take his life at a rally in Butler. We're going back to Butler too, by the way. Yeah, I said I'm serious, we're going back. It's a great place. Despite criticism of his performance earlier in the day, Trump framed his Chicago panel interview as a win posting to Truth Social that the questions were, quote, rude and nasty, and that he, quote, crushed it. Vice President Harris is narrowing down her choice for a running mate and has planned an event with her pick next week. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News. Thank you, Connor. Now, just outside this building, ahead of Trump's arrival, there were protesters. And here is video of some of those protesters. We see signage that reads, Dump Trump. Another protester has a quote about people not having to vote in the next four years. So quite the reaction from inside of this building as well as out. I'm Kenesha Dees reporting from Chicago, Fox 54 News.